How much gold can you make with one character per week without intentionally farming? The short answer is about 13,000 gold. Now to break down how to do it. World quests. There are two cycles of world quests each week. Starting Tuesday after reset and then again Friday evening. This gives you about three and a half days to get the world quests completed that give gold. You'll be looking for the dragon riding quests and the quests that give pure gold. Blizzard recently increased the amount of gold that world quests give so they are actually worth doing now. Each dragon riding quest gives a reward bag with an average of 525 gold. Doing them four times each quest cycle for eight times total in a week will make you approximately 4,200 gold. From what I've seen, the gold world quests all give over 600 gold now, and I've been getting about four of them each cycle, so eight total in a week. Using conservative numbers, we'll say 600 gold each, which comes to a minimum of 4,800 gold. Next up is the Aiding the Accord quest, which everyone should be completing every week. The chest you get from turning in the quest gives an average of 1,500 gold with an additional chance of there being a dragon purse that gives another 1,500 gold or, if you are really lucky, an overflowing satchel of coins that could contain up to 15,000 gold. Events like the Siege on Dragon Bank Keep and the newer Storm's Fury event will award a cash for completing them and each contain about 250 gold. At the Obsidian Citadel, completing the quest to turn in one key to either Sibelian or Rathian, depending on who you chose that week, will reward you with an Obsidian Strong Box that contains about 700 gold. The Dragon Riding and Gold World Quests, the Aiding the Accord Quest, Dragon Bang Keep, Storm's Fury, and the first turn in of a restored Obsidian Key are the most reliable sources of gold. The next few activities could vary greatly in the amount of gold you get. The Obsidian Citadel weekly quests from Sibelian and Rathian have a chance at rewarding between 600 to 950 gold. There is a chance you could get no gold and instead get a piece of gear. Another potential good source of gold are the quests given at the Ilog camps. Quests from the camps can reward up to 300 gold. You'll be able to do the quests from these camps every three days, so you'll have at least two rotations per week to get a quest that rewards you with gold. It's also worth counting how much you'll make from vendoring trash items and selling old gear throughout the week. If you get a gear reward instead of gold, then it's still worth something. Weapons can vendor for up to 120 gold. Bonus if you're an enchanter, it can get some resonant crystals. Some trash items also sell for a decent amount. Using very conservative numbers, I'd say you'll get at least 500 gold from vendoring junk per week. You'll at least make another 1000 to 1500 gold from these activities. Also, if you're unlucky, you'll get 125 gold from the world boss which puts us at approximately 13,000 gold per week. Thanks for watching. If there is another topic you would like to see a quick guide for, go ahead and comment below. Have a great day.